Well, <sighs> this season just... Thankfully, it's over. Obviously, we've got the FA Cup, but the Premier League season is now over. A convincing 3-1 win to end it isn't bad, but the very last thing that happened, the small and own goal, about sums up our season. David De Gea would have got the Golden Glove, which he thoroughly deserves. He's been player of the season for three years for Manchester United, but he didn't get it because of some unlucky... Uh, deflection off Smalling, which he couldn't do anything about, and uh, unfortunately that gave, uh, that basically stopped him getting the 16th clean sheet he needed to win the Golden Glove. But nevertheless, um, a solid enough performance from United. The first 40 minutes were absolutely dreadful, however, but uh, the goal we scored was terrific. It was Martial into Mata, one touch back to Martial. Martial lays it across to Rooney. Rashford leaves it, however. And that's intelligent play. He could, obviously Rooney would have shouted for it, but for a young age, he might have taken the shot. But he didn't, he left it, let it roll, and Rooney slots it in, 1-0. Now, not just because he scored, but Wayne Rooney was man of the match. He was everywhere today. He was he was in right back for some, uh, some of the game in left back. He was literally bombing forward and bombing behind. He was taking the N'Golo Kante role for us today. Obviously, he's, he's not as energetic or, you know, as good as Kante, but he was he was terrific in that midfield role. And uh, it was a fitting way to end the season. Uh, the second goal, it's brilliant, a brilliant ball from Wayne Rooney. Valencia nods it down. Rashford heads it in. Get in, Rashford. So happy he's been called up to the England squad as well. He's a trump card. He won't start, but he'll get subbed on. And maybe he can do what Kane did. Uh, and I th Did Vardy start on the bench for his first England game? I'm not sure. But Kane certainly did, and it took him one minute to score for England. But anyway, and then the third goal. Uh, Rooney again actually into Young who got subbed on happy to see him back and he slots it in 3-0 and then obviously 3-1 right at the end but uh, Louis van Gaal hopefully this is his last Premier League game hopefully it's his second last Manchester United game I think it will be Sky Sports now uh, saying that if van Gaal is sacked Jose Mourinho has been assured he will get the job and I think we will CL qualification is obviously done we finish fifth we cannot we can no longer get it, so like Moyes, I think that close will kick in, but I think it'll be delayed until after the FA Cup because it, it's pointless sacking him before then. Uh, so we'll wait until then and then hopefully relieve him of his duties. He'll not get the compensation he would have because of the CL close, which was in Moyes' contract as well. He was booed before the um, stadium announcer announced that he'd address the fans, which... I, I feel sorry for him, but I think it, it's needed just to show that the fans are not behind Louis van Gaal. I feel sorry for him. He's tried his best. He's tried to implement his system in the Premier League, and it just hasn't worked. Maybe 10, 20 years ago, it might have done. But for now, it doesn't. And I think a fitting end for him to end his career would be winning the FA Cup, because at least he has won a trophy in England. He's a likeable character. He signs autographs and all this, and he is a likeable character. But the football we've played under him is just unacceptable for a club that aspires to be what we do as Manchester United. We're rich. We should be competing for the Premier League. We should be at least in the Champions League, but we're not. And he hasn't delivered it. Regardless of how many injuries or whatever, it's just inexcus uh, inexcusable. And when you've got Jose Mourinho, who in my opinion, and I've said this while he was at Chelsea in videos before, he is the best current pre uh, the best current manager in the world. Uh, obviously, Sir Alex Ferguson is the best ever, but he's retired. So currently, Jose Mourinho is the best manager in the world. Only one to win in four different nations. He's won countless trophies. He's been successful. Yes, his last season wasn't amazing, but neither was Jürgen Klopp's for Borussia Dortmund. And he's not doing too bad for Liverpool. Two finals in his first year. So, you know, Jose Mourinho is exactly what we need. And it also looks, well, according to journalists, so believe it if you want to, but to hear has said he'll probably end up leaving if Van Gaal stays, whereas if Jose Mourinho comes in, he's much more inclined to stay. So there's another benefit of sacking Louis Van Gaal and getting Jose Mourinho. Also, Zlatan Ibrahimovic despises Van Gaal, so there is no chance we will get him if Van Gaal stays. However, he loves Jose Mourinho. I'm pretty sure he said a quote before. He also doesn't like Pep Guardiola. I think he called Pep Guardiola a fraud and then said, I die for Jose because of his time at Inter. You know, they get on really well and we need that kind of mentality. We need an absolute twat in our team. We've had Roy Keane, we've had Nemanja Vidic, we've had Rio Ferdinand, we've had Eric Cantona, we've had some complete cunts at this club, to put it lightly, and we need that. We need that arrogance. We need that 
you know, just that personality in the dressing room. And Ibrahimovic fits the bill. Jose Mourinho as the manager fits the bill as well. He's very arrogant in his beliefs. Ferguson was the same. So we need him. And... Um, yeah, fitting way to end the season, not fifth. I mean, 3-1 win is a decent win, but it's just an unacceptable season. So Van Hal has to go. Um, but th there are positives in Martial, in Rashford, in all the youngsters. But let's win the FA Cup and then thank God this season's over. And please let us announce Jose Mourinho as our new manager.